What is up my new Vim friends? Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about LSPs. I'm going to cover the basics and a general overview because what I really want to talk about is the things that it enables like autocomplete or linting or formatting. But I wanted to make this video first to get something out because I've lagged a little bit. So enjoy this LSP video and if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. And if you like new Vim content or you like improving your workflows, then hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into LSP basics. First off, let's understand what an LSP is. An LSP is meant to standardize the format or protocol for how language servers and clients communicate, which is why it's called a language server protocol. It enables code analysis, autocomplete linting, and other things you want to have in your IDE. There's two sides to the configuration, the NeoVim LSP client, which usually is configured through InVim LSP config, and then the other side is your language servers. So these are specific to the languages you're working in. A couple of examples are Solar Graph for Ruby and TypeScript language server for TypeScript. NeoVim acts as a client to language servers, and it already includes a Lua framework, vim. LSP or building tools that you can connect to your language servers. Language servers are developed by third parties. Here's a snapshot of a list of all the different language servers, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. There are several options for configuring NeoVim to use a specific language and setting up the client. The first one, if you wanted to start with the absolute basics, all you need to do is something like this, where it's vim.lsp.start, give it whatever server name you want to call it, and then the command that you want to execute and hook it up to the root directory of where the LSP is installed. Then you would just need to hook up an auto command. If you don't know anything about auto commands, check out this video in the top right that I've linked where I cover them. Otherwise, you want to set up this auto command to give you some of the key maps or other configuration things and check to make sure that your language server actually has those capabilities first. If you wanted to get by with the absolute basic config, like I mentioned before, you'd use invim LSP config and set it up something like this. And then whenever you launch NeoVim and have some of those files open, it'll automatically start the LSP. You note that you will have to manage those language servers outside in a different process, but I'll cover that in just a second. What I started out using is LSP zero, and this has a batteries included approach where it has a collection of functions that'll help you set up NeoVim's LSP client and then get those IDE like features with very minimal effort. It basically packages up all the different things that you need, like some of the autocomplete stuff and also the MVim LSP config and Mason. So you don't have to figure it all out yourself and you can get this option up and running very quickly. If you're only getting it for the managing of the language servers, then it's probably too much for you. And there's a section on this page that I'll also include in the description. Generally, this is what the config looks like, can get you up and running very quickly. All right, we've talked about one half of it, which is setting up the NeoVim LSP client. Now let's talk about the other side, which is the language server. Now you could certainly install language servers manually using something like NPM and some commands that look like this, but generally the preferred option is to use Mason. That way you can configure all your language servers right from NeoVim. You just need to include these two packages into your NeoVim config and you're up and running. This will give you the ability to manage LSP servers or debug adapter protocol servers, linters and formatters, which I'll talk about in a different video. Mason LSP config basically makes it easier for your LSP config plugins to work together. For restarting NeoVim after you install those plugins, you should have the ability to run Mason and you should see a screen like this. Now you can install and manage all of your language servers yourself. Now, if you've set up your LSP client and you've set up your language server, then you should see something like this, where you've set up a key map to use something like capital K, which will hover over an item and give you information. So if I do that here over read file sync, then I'll see information that shows me stuff from the language server and that's how I know that this is working correctly. I hope this gave you a nice overview of LSPs and how to quickly set up and some of the options. But really, I want to cue this up for the next video, which is going to go over autocomplete linters and formatters and give you some of those more advanced features. But I want to give you a base level of understanding about LSPs. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you like NeoVim content, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.